Louis! Hurry! He's coming! What's happening? I can sense him. He's here. He's trying to get inside me, Louis. William has completely lost his mind. He's getting ready to pull out all the stops. He's going to devour my mind, Louis. I'm not going to be able to stop him. Louis, you are here. I sense your presence. What? But he can't even see me. Congratulations, my son. You have succeeded in joining us. Louis, don't let him draw you in there. You are signing your death warrant if you decide to follow him. I won't be there to protect you. It's over, my son. We have won. A new order can be born. Louis, I'm so weak. I can feel him entering. I... I can no longer keep him out. He's... he's coming. He's here. I can. Can you see him? He's here. He's coming closer to you. Where? Louis. I don't want to just disappear. He's inside my mind. I can feel him crushing me. He's just in front of you. I'm so sorry, brother. There's nothing you can do to stop me now. You made your choice, and you have lost. <laughs> I was wrong about him from the very beginning. He's mad. He must be stopped. You can still do something, Louis. Don't let him get away with it. Please. Look at yourself, Uncle. You're just as bad as he is. Despite being centuries old, and despite all the wisdom you should have acquired, I don't believe in you. Nor do I believe in him. You can count on me to do my utmost, so that neither of you will succeed in your plans. Louis, it's over for me. It's up to you now to protect our family. Find your sister, Louis. She'll know what to do. What are you saying? Find her. It's over, brother. Don't fight it. You will be punished for this. Perhaps. But you won't be there to see it, will you? You will be punished! Ah, uh, I... where am I? It's all right, son. Don't panic. It's over. Uh, I'm back? Where are the guests? I invited them to go up to their rooms. They're resting. Don't worry. Gregory? You should have chosen your allies better, my son. You mean you plan to get rid of them since the beginning? For years, Louis. Come now. Would I really have risked everything in such a one-sided conference without having a trump card up my sleeve? But... but what about the conference rules? To hell with the rules. From now on, I'm only following my own rules. Things are going to change, you'll see. However, I expect you to stop your childish games and follow me. I gave you time to find your feet with Gregory, but things are going to get serious now. And I expect a little more loyalty from you. What did you do to him? I devoured his soul. You... but... I didn't see you use the Holy Lance. Indeed not. I didn't need to. Can't you guess how I did it? The Lance of Longinus is just a vessel, Louis. It could have been any object that had the blood of Christ on it. The blood of an ancient, more precisely. But I didn't need the blood of an ancient. You see, I have been in dear Lord Mortimer's physical body for longer than my brother has been in Sir Gregory Holmes. Therefore, I am an ancient, Louis. What happened in the ether? I surpassed him. What do you mean you surpassed him? I made sure he was poisoned by my blood before our little chat. Remember the cup of tea in the dining room? I wagered that Gregory simply wouldn't be able to let it get cold. Old habits do die hard. You put your blood in your tea? And he put the hangman's rope round his own neck. Ironic, isn't it? 
Unable to extract himself from his physical body, it didn't take much time for me to absorb him. In any case, what's done is done. I'm going to rest in the dining room. Join me there when you're ready. The time has come to end this little antisocial gathering. No doubt about it. This family is rotten to the marrow. I did right not to trust them. Holm told me that my last resort was to find my sister. I hope Emma will be able to help me. Ready before I go. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Well, I hope Emma has fully recovered. E Emma, excuse me for turning up Louis, like. Louis, your timing is perfect. I'm not so sure. Home is dead. Killed by Mortimer? I saw it with my own eyes, but you don't seem surprised. Can you explain? Sorry, there's not enough time to. Looks like she's better. Louis, I have brought Emily back from the ether. I beg your pardon? It was the last thing Holm did, as if to give us a chance of making it through. He guided me step by step just before he disappeared. Unfortunately, I could only bring her back in the body of a servant. And how does she feel about it? Right now, she's asleep next door. I must say that between that and all I had to tell her to sum up the situation, it was rather a lot to take in. But she should feel better soon. Let's just give her a bit more time. I don't want to rush you, but time is short. We are in great danger. When Holmes sensed his death was imminent, he warned me that we would be next. It was to be expected. But why attack us? We are his children, so... Good God, the bastard! What? Louis, what's the matter? He's going to devour us! What are you talking about? I've seen what he did to home, Emma. He's going to absorb us. I know it! I think this has been his plan all along. Explain yourself. The paintings. He announced it to us from the start. Look in your room. The paintings about you. William Pitt, the Queen of England. There's even an orphanage. Who chose all the paintings? He did. So what? My paintings are Saturn devouring his children, the fall of the dam, the incredulity of St. Thomas. He's been laughing at me the whole time. And where is he waiting for me right now? In the dining room. Remember, what are the paintings in the dining room? Pigs, I think. Yes. Circe turning her guests into pigs so they themselves become the meal. The sick bastard. We aren't going to let him get away with it. You wouldn't know how to defeat an ancient, child-eating, all-powerful demon, would you? Well, believe it or not, he gave me the answer himself. We're gonna need the blood from a demon older than him. And it just so happens that I have the Holy Lance. It touched the blood of Christ. What's the connection? <laughs> You're not trying to say that Christ is... I'll have to ask you to trust me on this one. Once this is over, we'll all have a few bones to pick, but for the time being... All right, all right, we'll follow you. Good, let's go then. Are you sure you're ready? You're all right? Yes. Yes, I feel a lot better. It's... it's all a bit strange. Sister, I believe we're ready for the end game. Louis, there you are. Look, she's better. Perfect. Good. Are you ready, Louis? Can we go? Yes. Let's get it over with. Louis, I've been expecting... Oh, I see you haven't come alone. To what do I owe the honor, Duchess? I thought this discussion should concern the whole family. Surprise, Father. Emily, you brought her back from the ether. Well, I am impressed, my children. It's over, Father. We can't let you go on like this. Enough! Ah! Louis, 
Who on earth do you think you are, for heaven's sake? Did you think I wouldn't know what you are planning? You are mere insects compared to me. You never had a chance. Help! My head! Let's do it! Now! Ah, how dare you! Keep going, it's working! You creatures are pitiful. Tell me, Emma, are you sure you are right to bring your sister back in that grotesque body? Mortimer! Is this how you manage to manipulate your brother? Now, now, Louis, don't think you can change the topic so easily. The question remains open. Emma, after everything Emily has been through, a life lost creating this character, do you really think she's going to just let you take over the main role? Emily, I promised you we would find you a better body. I'll do everything in my power to help you. No, 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 stop, Emma! He's trying to manipulate you. You killed her. And now you think she's just going to, what, leave it at that? I know. You will never forgive me. Don't listen to him, Emma. I swear, I mean you no harm. Oh, shit. He's succeeding. Emily, you have always been the dominant one. And you expect me to believe that you're now going to simply hand over your whole life's work? You can't fool me, my girl. I can read you like a book. Emma, he's lying. Don't listen to him. He'd do anything to undermine us. No, it's true, Louis. The Emily I knew would never have accepted such humiliation. Emma, no. Trust me. She spent her life creating this identity, day after day, and playing the main role. And you think now she's going to agree to be your servant? I am sure you have already planned your vengeance. Damn it, she's yielding. No, Emma. Stay calm, I beg you. You're playing right into his hands. This is all your fault. No, Emma. Stay concentrated. To hell with your plan! Emma! Louis manipulated us, Emily! Open your eyes for crying out loud! Stop! Emma, no! What on earth are you doing? Let him deal with Father himself! It is not my problem! Louis! No! I should never have trusted you again. We've lost everything because of you. Here, my daughter. I'm proud of you. You know what to do if you want to make sure she never betrays you again. Von Volmer tightened his political and spiritual grip on King Frederick William. On the death of the king in 1797, Johann retired with his wife to his country estate in order to continue his work on his theological and alchemical thesis. Manuel Godoy's close relationship with Napoleon enabled him to claim a part of Portugal as well as the protection of France upon the fall of the kingdom. He died in the company of his beloved mistress, Pepita, after recovering all his titles and properties. Napoleon Bonaparte continued his political and military rise until his self-proclamation as emperor. His excessive ambition would cost the lives of 1,700,000 Frenchmen and leave France poorer and weaker than ever before. Deported and imprisoned by the British on St. Helena Island, he died on the 5th of May, 1821, as an exile to general indifference. During his second term, George Washington had to deal with a number of rebellions. 
he enraged public opinion by building close diplomatic links with Great Britain, which forced him to give up a third term in office. He retired to his country estate until his death, without being able to implement the annexation of the highly coveted Louisiana Territory. The Duchess remained close for a few years to the royal couple, until George III's health inexplicably worsened. She suddenly vanished from the royal court upon the advent of the regency of the Prince of Wales, George IV. His eminence was obliged to justify himself on his return over the letter he had sent to His Holiness. His mental health was called into question, and consequently he was withdrawn from papal state power. It was said in polite undertones that he had been sent to a faraway retreat, the better to hide his anonymous confinement in an asylum of Rome. Elizabeth's family did everything in their power to find her, based on clues provided by their friend George Washington. In vain, they lost her trail in the port of Brest, in France, and no one ever saw her again. Sarah de Richet threw herself from the Pont des Arts into the River Seine, before a crowd of dumbfounded bystanders, just a few days after her son's return to Paris. He spoke of his aging mother's recent depression, and took over the running of the Golden Order, whose expansion was rapid. Nothing more was ever heard of Lord Mortimer. His sudden disappearance was a topic of conversation in the European courts, but only for a few months.